Hello everyone, this is Mr. Steve Steve, I'm Stefan, if you, uh, if you wish to call me that name, and we are playing Oblivion, and it's been a while, hasn't it, it's been a little while, but to be fair, um, I haven't had motivation to do it, because I pretty much have played this game to death, so it's kind of a case of do I want to play again, and of course I would play it again, and um, through from the start, and I have been doing that, but it's kind of a case of... Can I be bish, bash, boshed? So, we're here in Skingrad. Enjoying the sights, taking in the scenery, looking at this funny looking wall. I wonder why it looks funny. No guesses. Um, and we're going outside. Oh, that was my controller dropping. And I've got a lovely cup of tea I'm enjoying here. Ah, lovely. Twining's finest everyday tea. Made by Mr. Steve Steve. Oh, I forgot they were on fire. Did they even hurt you? Oh, yeah, they do. They, they hurt you. Um, since the last video a long time, a long time ago, I have not actually done much apart from get this very nice sword. Um, oh, what God. Is Just, you know, don't creep up on people. That's bad trait there, my friend. Um... Oh, I've kind of gone deaf, sort of. There we are. My headsets were off. Oh, wow. That'd ruin your morning, wouldn't it? Your nana spends all... And your grandma spends all day putting the furnishings right. The lawn. And then that big effing oval thing pops up. And I wouldn't be pleased about that. Alright, let's 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 just leave that there. I can't be bothered. I can't be bish bash boshed. To deal with oval, demonic looking gates to oblivion. Yeah. It's not something I want to do at um, 7.50 in the morning. Ah, oh, well. So, I'm pretty stumped. Oh, there's another one. Mm, popping up everywhere. Alright. I, I have no real clue what to do here. Um... Your money oh bloody hell! Your life. God, everyone's creeping up on people today. Um, for not saying please, sir, I am going to say no. We and for that, your pulling your warhammer out, I am going to now kill you. People might say it's a gross, it's a gross. Um, oh, he's poisoned me, which makes me want to kill him even more. Um, I can't use spells. Right, what am I going to kill him with? What am I going to kill him with? People might say this is a bit of a, um, a bit of a over-exaggeration, but honestly, I don't agree. Look at him, on the floor. Nah. Stay down, you monkey. Well, we're cat. Say we're, they're both furry, aren't they? You stay down. I'm trying to find a perfect weapon to kill you with. Um... Bit sadistic, yes, but uh, so all seriousness. Do you mind? You know, take it like a man, cat like you are. There we are. Very nice. Done and dusted. Took two lock picks, which is uh, it's always it's always nice. The good old lock picks. Can't do them. Nah. Oh, demonic oval thing is uh, is challenging me with a bit of lightning. It is. Ah well. I couldn't care. So, um, yeah. I've done nothing really on my own. I've just been playing with Chris. Not like that. Um, but when, uh, whenever Chris is on, we usually do a bit of recording. It's either Dead Island or the Portal 2 DLC, which um, we're finished. But, um, ah, well, hmm, 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 hmm. Uh, we, well, I have to take the blame and say that I've lost the audio, so, you know, it kind of gets with Chris just speaking and, um, oh, I gotta turn back. Why? Oh, why? So we get halfway, um, Chris is speaking and I go blank. There's no words from me. And, um, it's a little bit upsetting. I mean, we spent hours doing that. Literally hours. If you haven't seen the Portal 2 DLC, I would check it out. It is very good. And it's free as well, so that's that's always a bonus, I mean, you never want to 
uh, expensive DLC. When you can get things free, that's even better. So, what is this place? I've never been here before. You see, this is kind of not an exciting bit of gameplay. Like, Oblivion, for example, Elder Scrolls and Oblivion, for me, is just kind of a chill out, relaxing, not so serious game. And I thought a cricket was going to kill me there. Um, it's always been a nice, nice relaxing game. Uh, nothing too serious. Just the average day, killing people. Killing them with frost and nearly dying. Uh, it's, it's always a natural day for me. But, um... Oh, bugger, I've stumbled upon something that I wasn't meant to. Um, yeah, so it's not like... If I was to play a game where I didn't know anything was going to happen, such as Crisis 2, which I did play through the other week, um, it would have been a much better, higher quality bit of gameplay. But um, it would have been like a nice bit of chocolate gato cake. Very spongy and succulent. And that's how I would describe my commentaries. Uh, spongy and succulent. With the touch of madness. And terrible analogies. <clears throat> so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try and find something to do. Um, I'm hoping to get a PC by the end of October, which is <laughs> which is not long time, I've got to say. Um, I want Skyrim purposely for a PS3 PC. Sorry, not PS3. PS3s are good, but not like PCs. And Xboxes are all right, but not like PCs either. Mm, that was alright. I didn't do anything. Brilliant. So yeah, that's that was. This has been my objective. It's not going to happen, I don't think. But it's something to work towards, and I need a, I need I need some sort of some sort of potion to help me along. Ooh, that's a lot of potions. Come on then, Mr. Imp, sir. Oh, how do you like them apples? Oh, oh yeah, it is. Cheeky bugger. Cheeky bugger. Yeah. Means I don't have to um, lean my head all the way up when I'm doing a commentary as well. It's quite annoying that. Because I sit about two feet in front of my TV. Um, so I can have my laptop computer thing. Piece of shit in my mind. Sorry for the language. And my mic and piece Xbox thing. And my TV. So it's kind of, it's very in your face. And I've got to, I've got to look at it and go. Yes, I know what I'm playing. I'm playing Oblivion. And it's, uh, it's very difficult. But there is nothing here, it would appear. I did a little rhyme. Oh, this is a shame. I was hoping to do some exciting, succulent... Sp oh, I know what this place is. I've been here before. Well, not personally. Um, my character. There's a chest. Yes, yes. I hope it's there. Now, I'll tell you a little story. Sit down, kids. Papa Stefan will tell you a story. We were I was round at my friends one day, playing Oblivion, as I did once, many years ago, many moons. And there's eight going on coins. And I found a bow called the Dragon Breath Bow. It, it was something along the lines. My, my memory's aged a lot. Um, but it was very good, and his arrows were arrows of fire breath as well. So, fire makes things explode, as you... All well know if you attended school and mixed with the bow and these arrows uh, the simplest rat would fly many many miles up into the air and it took uh, it literally took three minutes IRL time for this little rat thing to come crashing back to the earth and um, we laughed profusely it was a case of laughing yes indeed So that was my story. If you can find any bows that do explosion damage, then uh, I would recommend you pick them up because they're, they're extremely fun and it adds a bit of spark to your day. If you if you if you've played this game to death, then again I've played this for <clears throat> since it came out and um, I've still not found everything. So I'm saying I've played it to death, but I've probably wore it down to bedrock by now, not past bedrock. Oh. Something behind us? No, there's a wolf. 
Alright, Mr. Wolf. Yes, in fact. Oh, okay. Got something in your face, mate. Yeah. Oh, yes, it's my arrow. Nah. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, let's mosey on through this forest because it looks uh, non menacing and it looks very friendly. And I'll take the time to have a cup of tea. Hang on. Just just moving the um, control with my uh, cup of tea right now. This isn't working very well. Oh, okay. Don't run into the rock. There we are. Oh. What's this? What is that? It's very deceptive, that's what it is. Think me thinking, oh, there's going to be a treasure trove, loot place I can go to, and, you know, make this commentary exciting, because we've been recording for ten minutes and shit all's happened. <laughs> right, this place better have treasure. I don't know, it's got an imp outside. I find a lot of imps. To be fair, they can all go to hell. Oh. Oh. You okay? I don't want you to be okay. Technically, I do, but theoretically, I don't. I'm fine. <laughs> oh, it's got little red eyes. Look at him. wonder if these guys are heavy. Everyone's got six packs on this game. I mean, look. look. You can be... You can be an old codger and still have a six pack. No man, I'm I'm no expert, but having a six pack, I, I don't know, 57, 58, is pretty impressive. I mean, elves live forever on this game. I think they don't live forever, but um, live for a very long time, and um, I respect that. Prefer Lord of the Rings elves, They're more majestic. Whoa. Am I still in the butt naked? Am I in the nude? Am I wearing a loincloth? Oh, I'll have them. I don't care. So we found treasure. The other. Oh, I am in the naked. You know what? No, this makes it more exciting. Makes it more exciting. You can also hear the controller in the background now. I really want to get rid of it. It's, I might actually sell this Xbox because, uh, to be fair. If I had a PC, I probably wouldn't play it, and then I'll probably get a cheaper Xbox anyway, so... Oh, what is this? What is this I found? I'll stick this on. I've got no boots, but give us a second. What's then? I look like a bit of an idiot, a little bit of a pillock, but uh, it'll work. It'll do it. You know what? I don't even need this. I know I don't need that. I look well lovely in my shoes. Listen mate, I don't care. Because I've got nice shoes on. <laughs> and by the looks of it, you don't have any shoes on. <laughs> so that's one to me. <sighs> oh, another one without any shoes. Let's dance, buddy. Let's dance. Oh, well, that was pathetic. Hang on, does that, was that worth a lot? I think it was. No, it wasn't. It was it was no, it was worth nothing. It was. Uh, really did this commentary just to kind of I mean, this playthrough just to kind of do preparation for Skyrim. But to be fair, I'm just too excited. Ooh, ooh, I'm too excited for Skyrim anyway, and it's it's a case of I haven't even pre-ordered it yet. That's that's it's blasphemy, really. It's, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I look like an absolute fool, and what is this? Resilience. Yeah, I'll, I'll just leave it off. I prefer boots anyway. Who needs uh, who needs stops? Oh, I, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'm leveling up like there's no tomorrow. Right, what's around here? Ah, oh, they already know I'm here, so there's no point in trying to. S Thanks, thanks. Just coming up the stairs, you know, going to do me business because the toilet's upstairs and I get blasted with electricity. It just normally happens in my everyday time. Happened at college the other day. I mean, I didn't know people carried around lightning swords and lightning magic in their hands. 
around college, but you know, it must just happen this way. What can you do, really? You could probably just wear leather. I'm not wearing any leather, so that, that could help if I was wearing some leather, but I wouldn't want to uh, wear leather all the time. I knew I had this. There we are. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Cheeky I am for finding this. I'll take it. No doubt about that. Oh, I see you. Shaking that ass. Mr. Imp. Oh, yeah. Smash. Smash it. Let's go to your mama's soggy hollow. Sorry, I had to say that. I don't know why I've been slurping my tea. I think I just want to audibly say that I'm actually having a cup of tea. I'll, have, I'll open this again. I'll take that as well. Right. Oh. 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 Time to meet your soggy hollow. You know, all the dungeons and places were designed by one level designer on this uh, game. It's quite impressive, isn't it? One person designed this many dungeons. Then again, the dungeons are quite repetitive, so... But, then again, I know, I know, I know how games are made, because it's what I do in college. I learn about games. Who doesn't want to learn about games? Games are fun. They provide hours of entertainment. Mm. Mm hmm. That's what I do. Provide hours of entertainment. By the way, if you are subscribed to this channel, you will be getting a. Um, I'll be doing a uh, stuff for free. I mean, I want to give back to the community. And uh, my first game is being designed, and it has been programmed. So. You will, in time, when it has been made, improved, and I've just tried to open your lock, so you will be getting it. Probably this competition to do a key code or something to get it off air iTunes. It's not it's not a big game, it's it'll be sixty nine pence, but you'll get it for free and then like I said, who doesn't want anything for free? It's a case of do you, do you not? Of course you do. You're human. And you're special. Because you're my humans. Alright, let's 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 put on a serious face. Serious! There's a rat behind me. Oh, it's swimming. Rats are swimming. Never fun. Oh, that was loud. You alright? Oh, bugger! You jump, can't you? Oh, shit. Have it. Don't need it. Well, I do need it. I've only got 30 arrows left, but... Let's give this a bash. Oh, there we are. I'm finding everything in this cave. This is, this is br brilliant. Hope this makes up, makes up for the 10 minutes of air uh, doing nothing. I mean, I wouldn't really want to, like, put 10 minutes of shit out. However, that was 10 minutes of probably shit. What is in this cave? I've, I think I've been here once, but it was many moons ago when I lived in Australia, so... Yes, I do remember this. And oh, well, there was something in here. Yeah, that was it. There we are. There was, and there was a chest. Well, that's embarrassing. Right, let's plug this in. I knew this was going to happen, so I, I had it prepared. There we are. And let's put this away. Put this shiny and pull out a nice flammable club. Ooh. Oh. Oh, oh. What's this place then? Inky Grotto. Your mom is an Inky Grotto. Oh, right. As we observe, the native imp, which I seem to be finding a lot around these parts, we kill it and skin it and use it for firewood. However, I don't know how you could use an imp for firewood. I just, just, just shut up. Oh, well that was less than effective. Oh, there we are. Brilliant. Bloody brilliant. Am I gonna die in here, Daddy? Yes. Sorry, I'm... 
I knew there was places around here. This this cave's turned out to be more exciting. Can you do you seriously mind? Just you know, I get it enough. And you shooting electricity at us? Who do you think you are? You're not my mama. Can't do that. Oh, oh, all right then. Touch the unwelcome guest. I'll use that because it uses less mana. Oh, well, that was less than an... Oh, I don't know anymore. I've done a lot of... in this video, but... I'm young David Attenborough, by the way. I can tell you what the native imp eats. And it's not me, because he's dead down there. Prick. Oh! You are a big one, aren't you? What well, you had to eat. Well, by the looks of it, you um, are quite weak. Um. Oh. Oh. You all right? I did just kill you, but I mean, I don't really. Hang on. This is a bit of a climatic ending. Um. Let's just put you down. Down. Oh. You are big, aren't you? Ooh, put yourself away, love. Go on, get down there. With the imps. Ugh. Ugh, I don't like that. A very large mud crab. Do you reckon that was on purpose, or...? I think it was on purpose, because there's a large... There's large skeletons, and... I'm rather shocked, I am. Elf cup cap. Mystic, this was less than a uh, yield worthy, but uh, yeah, that was fun. That I mean, killing that big one, I can just I can brag to my friends, and I've got video proof. You're here, you can vouch for us. Tell the queen that I've you know killed a massive crab, probably give us a medal or something. That's all she's good for, anyway. But uh, yeah, ooh. I'll take everything and I'll search what you've got. Hopefully, one of yous have got a ring. That would be very nice. Oh, well, you've got scales. That's pointless. I wonder how that mud crab, very weak mud crab, killed three men, presumably men, maybe women, doesn't matter, I'm not sexist, and a fish. A deadly one at that. I, I, I don't want to even know. I don't want to even know. I'll have a little scope around and see what I find, but. I think Mr. Uh, Nippers here. Probably it's just oh no, right now it's be a blocked off entrance, not a sly way to get out. Help me! I cannot breathe. All right, see you later, Mister Nippers. Enjoy your um, enjoy your bath. Sleep with the fishes. All right, there we are. Lovely ending. Right. Did I miss something anyway? Because I, I have a very bad habit of missing something. Oh, there we are. I knew it. Well, this is there. Oh, bugger. And you can tell all your friends I did this dungeon in nothing but fur boots. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fur boots. I like my fur boots. I might get some for the house. You could just put Uggs on. But I'm, I don't wear Uggs. I am a man. Actually, I did see surfers wear Uggs when I lived in Australia, but I think they were a bit effeminate. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Got a bit of a bloated stomach, actually. Maybe shouldn't have had that spaghetti. Let's go back to your mama's soggy hollow. Getting old. Oh, nice one. Just lost the top watch. Right, there we are. Oh, can't believe I missed that. So that's two things I missed. It's your fault. I was going to shoot them, but. Ah! Oh! Anyway, I'll see you later. Thank you for watching, and please like, subscribe, and comment. Bye bye.